Um, so Natalie showed her audition tape earlier. That was very cool. Matt showed highlights from the year. So I'm going to show a clip from the very first show we ever did that I hosted. Here's what I was talking about one year ago today. I just want to remind everyone that today is Groundhog Day. Which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> just kidding. You make your own luck. Hey, I'm nothing if not informative. That's right, Cash Live Day falls on Groundhog Day, so total deja vu. Uh, speaking of deja vu, here's the rules of the game. I've told you a million times, and I'll tell you again. We're going to give you two whole cards, and then we'll show you the flop for free. After then, it's decision time. You can swipe right if you want to go all in and risk all your chips, or you can swipe left if you want to fold the five biggest stacks. After six rounds, you go to the final table. That's where you could possibly become tonight's Cash Live Champion. And guys, if you get eliminated in the first three rounds, never fear! The rebuy token is here. You're automatically thrown back in the game, but don't lose your stacks in four, five, or six, because then you gotta hit the bricks. No rebuy after that, my friends. Well, before we jump into this historic game, I feel like I should mention that today is Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> just kidding. You make your own luck. And, hmm. Weird, I just kind of had deja vu again. Uh, anyway, guys, crack your knuckles and ask for shuffles. Tie your laces and pray for aces. Crack a cold one. Let's play some hold'em because this first anniversary edition of Cash Live starts right now. <clears throat> we didn't have Cash Live mugs a year ago. I'll tell you that much. So, yeah. We're a success now. Uh, guys, welcome to the virtual felt. Your dealer, Eugene, has given you your two hole cards. So now, without further ado, let's see the very first flop of the night. The flop is the Ace of Spades, the Seven of Spades, and the Eight of Diamonds. Okay, guys, take a breather and breathe out. <sighs> Meaning, do you like what you see? Analyze this board. Two spades for a flush draw. Nine ten for a straight draw because mm, it's decision time. Right to go all in and... Left to use your, well, one of three folds that we gave you. Yes, we have been generous with folds throughout the years. And by the way, guys, I should mention this. Today is Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> Just kidding. You make your own luck. Decisions are in. Let's go to 4th Street. The turn card is... The Queen of Spades. Maybe you just hit your flush. A King of a Spade. And another one gives you that nut. Let's go to the river. And the river card is... The Seven of Diamonds. Okay, maybe a flush no longer than nuts on this one. Ashy Larry at my feature table. Damn, Ashy Larry, you did damn good with those sevens. But let's go to the results page, please, and thank you. The high hand goes to our old pal, Miss Mimi, with quad sevens. Woo! Looking like a slot machine. Redwood got that hand, as well as one other. Our chip leader is Trevord. Trevor, who's a lord? Let's go with that. I forget if you were on Bridgerton or not, but you got 60,000 chips. Tied for the lead with all the other 60Kers out there holding it down. Uh, Trevor, my lord, excellent hand. Okay, round number two is here, and let's see a flop. The flop is the Ace of Hearts, the Four of Diamonds, and the Ace of Diamonds. Okay, once again, it is decision time. Hey, Danny Mac Jr.'s at my featured table. Uh, I'll have to see the paperwork if you really want to claim that you're my son. You're not getting a cent of mine until then. No, no, no. I got Domo D at my feature table, and hey... Wait up! Also at my feature table, great username. Excellent use of the letter eight. Decisions are in, let's go to fourth street. The turn card is the six of clubs. Maybe a brick on this one. It might be a battle of aces versus diamonds. Let's go the river. And the river card is the three of hearts, a new low card, my friends. Let's see what you did on the results page, but first, hey, wait up. I gotta give you a shout out. The only one who went all in at my featured table. However, the high hand goes to Mad Matt! Fury Road? Oh, that's a different thing. Full house, ace is full of sixes for you! That's a nice hand. Lucky Lady got that as well. Pardon me, uh, Lady Lucky. And our chip leader is a haul with 140,000 chips. Just a haul in a stack of chips to the next table. Here we go. Here's the next flop. The flop is the six of hearts, the king of clubs. No, nope, that's a spade. And the nine of diamonds, still not good at my job after a year. And decisions are upon thee, my friends. Oh, by the way, this is interesting. You may not know this, but today is Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. 
<laughs> Just kidding. You make your own luck. All right, decisions are in. Let's see the next card. The turn card is the five of spades. Flush draw time. Let's go to the river. And the river card is the jack of spades. Backdoor spades may have gotten there for you. There's also a straight draw on that board. Oh, birdie at my feature table with pocket twos. Can I get a little quack quack for birdie on that one? Thank you. The high hand goes to Ghost Q with an ace high flush. Uh, Joe Mama got it as well. Our chip leader is Kenneth77 with 257. A thousand in chips. Nice job, Kenny. Bringing us into round number four where you're four handed and you could quadruple up, so let's flop it out. The flop is the five of clubs, the queen of spades, and the five of hearts. Once again, it is decision time. I got Philip. Jason, Mr. Jack in the box, and it's a me at my feature table. You know who wasn't working here a year ago? Kira and Jamie. Make some noise, ladies. Woo! That's right. Our team has grown. I'm so damn proud of them. Oh, I'm going to cry. Decisions are in. Let's see a new card. The turn card is the five of spades. Oh, my God. Anyone with a five has quads? This is crazy. If you like this hand, dial 555-555. No. Let's go to the river, and the river card is... The nine of diamonds, who cares? I want to hear about these fives. Show me the results page now before I take this bow tie off and eat it. That'd be weird. The high hand goes to DPM, demonstrous poker machine with four of a kind fives. Many of you got that. Urban Neil got it as well. If you did not go all in with a five on that flop, what the heck? Kenneth, still the chip leader. Damn, holding this thing down, Kenneth, bringing us into our a penultimate round. That's right, two more chances to get your bundle sky high. If you want to be one of my final five, at the final tableau. Let's see a flop. The flop is the five of clubs, the 10 of clubs, and the nine of diamonds. Okay, players, for the second last time in the prelims, it is decision time whether you got a fold left or not. And, uh, oh, thank you. I just got this from my producer. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I almost didn't mention this. Today is Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> Just kidding. You make your own luck. Let's go to 4th Street. The turn card is the Ace of Hearts. A new high card has emerged to the river. We go. And the river card is the Eight of Clubs. Well, maybe the clubs get there for you, my friend. Colby did good with simply eights at my feature table, wiping everyone out. Yikes. But the high hand goes to B-G-D-K-L-V-E-R. Yeah, I think I can fill in the blanks there. Ace high flush, nice hand for you. Our chip leader is Molly One with 365,000 chips. Molly did won that hand. Me speak English, that's impossible. Uh, by the way, our final table cut line 291K. You need a minimum of that in your stack for a shot at the big show. So good luck, everyone. Here's your final prelim flop. The flop is the three of spades, the five of clubs, and the six of hearts. Okay, guys, for the last time in these prelims, it is decision time. Happy Cash Live Day, everyone. We've given away a total of $600 tonight. It was such a pleasure to have you here for all three of these games. I got QC, T-Rex, Happy, Jabosa, and Sharky taking a bite out of chips at my featured table. Decisions are in. Let's head on down to 4th Street. The turn guard is the nine of hearts. Backdoor hearts, maybe. Could it happen? Let's go to the river. And the river card is... The three of hearts, the board is paired, but do you care? And hearts absolutely have gotten there. Wow, QC with a boat at my feature table. That's sick. Almost as sick as the savings you'll get from our dear friends over at Lush Dream. Yeah, that's a masterful segue. That's why they pay me the big bucks over here. Use the promo code CASHLIFE25. You can press this button to go there or wait until the end of the show. We'll have a link for you as well. And you know what? We are linking up 360 of you with 25 cents for this extra big prize pool day. More min cashers like Meldog, Enrico, AJ Sully, BMF, Marv, Popcorn, Compound Bow, and Fire Up the Jacuzzi Jets for Pen15. I think I can also decipher that code as well. You were so close to making the final table around 20k away, but nay nay. That honor is reserved for these five names in front of you. They are your stars of the show. If they saw their shadows, I would still play six more weeks of cash live with them. And I wouldn't even wear a frown on my face once. My friends, it's time to praise them like we should. It's time to fire up this anniversary edition of The Final Table.
Yes, yes, y'all, we have arrived at tonight's final table, the third of all our games today. So, here are your stars of the show. In seat number one, we've got Cal Don 65 Hello, Cal Don. Tammy is in seat number two. Uh, C. Sue made it in as well. iTrace is here. And we've got Scotty A. Much better than Scotty B through Z. Congrats on making it this far, my friends. Now, here is the flop of your dreams. The flop is the three of diamonds, the queen of clubs, and the five of hearts. All right, before you do anything, you guys should know that we reset your folds to one. So with that in mind, it's decision time. Right to go all in and left. Choose your one and only fold on this queen high rainbow flop. By the way, guys, today's Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> Just kidding. You make your own luck. All right, looks like your decisions are in. We got a three-way on our hands. It's Sisu with the Jack-10, iTrace with Ace-9, and Scotty A with King-Queen. Top pair, great kicker. You're in the lead and really only fading one over card. Sisu, you need runner-runner to catch up. Let's go to the turn card. The turn card is... The King of Spades. Well, speaking of runner runner, Sisu, good card for you. While Scotty A just picked up two pair, you're now on an open ended straight draw. So an ace will give you a straight, meaning I trace. They can't hit their ace and win this hand anymore. A nine would also allow you to eliminate two players. But for now, Scotty A is looking like Scotty Pippen assisting themselves with a bunch of chips. Let's go to the river, and the river card is. The two of spades, Scotty is gonna be good. Scotty didn't know what a sick hand that he was going to flop. So you are tripling up and then some and all five of us are moving on to final table hand number two. Okay guys, let's flop it out. The flop is the five of hearts, the six of diamonds and the three of diamonds. Interesting flop, it is decision time. Scotty A is now in the cash live sweet spot. You got a fold and more chips than anyone. About one and a half million in chips. Sisu, our new short stack, can't even cover the antes anymore. Yeah, you're in the old short spot, but you can make a comeback. We got a foursome on our hands. Cal Don has the 6-4 top pair and an open-ended straight draw. We've got Tammy with a jack deuce. That's a gut shot straight draw. I Trace has big slick, ace king, and Sisu has the king four. That's an open-ended straight draw for you as well. But currently in the lead, it looks like it's Cal Don, the biggest chip leader in the mix right now with a pair of sixes. Okay, guys, let's go to fourth street, see if they hang on. The turn card is the seven of diamonds. Wait just a minute here. Three, four, five, six, seven. That is a crazy card. Cal Don just hit a straight and so did Sisu. So Cal Don, you might be chopping the pot on this one. However, this gives two players a flush draw and I trace is on the nut flush draw. If a diamond comes down, they're going to be looking pretty damn good. Tammy, maybe you could win a side pot with that or chop the pot. If another card drops, maybe a four. Let's go to the river. And the river card is... The Six of Hearts! No, the straights are gonna be good on this one. Cal Don eliminating Tammy. And I trace, and Sisu is hanging on and splitting the pot. You both have a straight. So we're saying goodbye to two players here today. I trace, congratulations, $10 on this extra big prize pool day. And Tammy, $15 for you. The four didn't come down for a chop, but hey, we love you for coming in fourth place. Final table hand number three is here. Let's see a flop. The flop is the Nine of Hearts the eight of spades and the six of clubs okay guys it is decision time for sisu the only one with a fold once again slide whistle the cash live short spot <laughs> i think we're just big fans of the slide whistle here uh sisu <laughs> thank you yes about 20k in ships they're folding scotty has nine seven top pair with an open-ended straight draw yeah i would have swiped right too cal don king three Okay, Scotty is in a great spot right now. Caldon with an overcard, maybe backdoor flush. Let's go to the turn card. The turn card is... Oh, the king of hearts! Caldon finds the higher pair on the turn card. And now Scotty A is the one who doesn't want to lose their chips to another player. So Scotty, you can hit a nine or a seven or a five or a 10. So uh, yeah, Caldon, you're fading like a third of the deck on this one. Let's go to the river, see if kings hold up. The turn card is... The two of spades, Caldon, your kings are going to reign supreme on this one. Scotty, you're losing a bunch of your chips down to 323,000. Caldon moves up to the chip leader position with 2.32 million and Sisu is still hanging on with not even enough to cover the antes. Let's see the fourth flop. The flop is 
the king of spades, the three of clubs, and the nine of clubs. Okay, guys, you officially have burned all your folds, so it's a three-way dance. Flip them over, and let's see what you're working with under the hood. Cal Don, our chip leader, has got the king five, top pair for the chip leader, so sick. Scotty A has got the eight deuce, oh, not much there, but you had to go all in. And Sisu has got king 10, top pair with the best kicker of the bunch, putting you way in the lead right now. That's dominating Cal Don, but they could spike a five and end this tourney. Let's go to fourth street. The turn card is... The Four of Hearts. Okay, Scotty A is officially drawing dead on this one. And Caldon, you're going to need a five. There's only three left in the deck. So, Sisu, will you hang on with your Kings and Ten kicker or will Caldon suck out on the river? Let's go there now. And the river card is... The Six of Spades. Sisu, you're going to be good with your Kings and that Ten kicker. And unfortunately for the side pot, Scotty A... Caldon's Kings will eliminate you in third place. Congratulations. Here is $20 for coming in third place for this historic cash live game. Bravo on a job well done. That brings us into final table, hand number five, where we are finally heads up. But it's Caldon versus Sisu. Oh my goodness, Sisu, with almost nothing still. Let's see a flop. The flop is the five of spades, the ace of clubs, and the seven of diamonds. Okay, you two, grip them and flip them, Sisu. You just laddered up to a second place finish at worst. Caldon's got the king six and Sisu has the jack eight. Okay, neither of you have anything at the moment. So King High is in the lead for the chip leader. Sisu, you gotta hit it to win it. Let's go to fourth street. The turn card is the ace of spades. The motorhead creeps on out and Sisu, you're one step closer to elimination. Caldon, all you're fading here is a jack or an eight. If those cards don't come down, you're going to be the champ. Sisu, cross your fingers. Let's go to the river. And the river card is the five of diamonds. Caldon, you've done it. You are tonight's cash live champion. Nicely done, Eugene. Oh, I have not gotten better at that over the year. Sisu, congratulations on a wonderful, wonderful effort. $25 coming in second place. You absolutely crushed it today for this historic game. But Cal Don, $40 is going to you. Vaulting up the February leaderboard. I mean, you got to be in first place after that performance. King High takes it down. Bravo. Congratulations on a job well done. Guys, thank you so much for joining myself and Natalie and our CEO, Matt Jarvis, for these three games today for our first ever Cash Live Day. Shout out to our sponsor, our friends over at Lush Stream in the lobby. If you press this button, you'll go to their website. Use the promo code CASHLIVE25 to get 25% off everything in their entire store. And guys, I should remind you that today is Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> Just kidding. You make your own luck. And with that, my friends, we've got many more games coming up this week, so stay tuned. Every day is Cash Live Day. My name is Danny Mac. It has been an absolute pleasure to serve you. And until next year and the next Cash Live Day, may the cards fall ever in your favor. By the way, today is Groundhog Day, which means if Punxsutawney Phil sees his shadow, you can expect six more weeks of bad flops. <laughs> Just kidding. You make your own luck. And by the way, today...